Well, hello and welcome. This is Stuart. I want to welcome you to this month's educational video. This time I want to talk to you about two very important words to your future as a property entrepreneur, as an entrepreneur full stop, as a business owner, even as a person and individual in your own right. The first word I want to share with you is the word is the word outcomes. You see, everyone's looking for a certain outcome in uh, business or property ownership. Most of them think that it's the financial freedom or the money or the big prize. You know, it's the it's the fifty thousand dollars I want to make on this reno. It's the hundred and fifty grand I want to make on this development site. It's the uh, eight percent return I want to make on this share trade. Or you fill in the blank here, and that's fine. It's good to know where the outcomes lie because I'm always telling you that um, clarity is power. You know, it's okay to start in confusion, but we want to move into clarity. Clarity is power, and the thing you want to get clear on is the outcome. However, here's the line I'm always saying, most people grossly overestimate what they can achieve in one year, but they grossly underestimate what they can achieve in five. So the outcomes need to be broken down. Certainly you need to have your big outcomes. That might be the dollar value, that might be the project size, that might be a whole bunch of things. However, each one of those big outcomes ultimately is broken down to a whole lot of what? Absolutely. Small outcomes. So here's the thing, you know, if you're looking to succeed at a uh, renovation, you've got to find that renovation site. So, you know, that might require some phone calls. Every phone call you make has an outcome. Before I pick up the phone, what is the outcome of the call that I want here? I'm clear on it before I pick up the phone, before I go into an auction, before I go to a meeting, before I go to a council uh, debrief session or something. Every single time I want to be clear, what is the outcome I want here? Sure, I want them to pass my plans, I want them to stamp the approval, I want them to give me everything I've got. However, that's the big outcome. What are the small outcomes you want? Maybe you want to build rapport, maybe you want to get people on side and do a whole heap of small things because it's the small things that lead to the big outcomes. Now I'm going to uh, get to the second word that I want to share with you. And the second word is uh, accountability. Now accountability means, well, I mean, you know what it means. Who are you accountable to? I mean, you're accountable to a heap of things. You're accountable uh, to your family, to your partner, to your children. You're accountable to your business. You're accountable to the marketplace. Uh, with your products and your systems and the whole and your customer service, there's accountability everywhere in what we do. However, here's the thing I do know: being pro property entrepreneurship, if you're going to be successful, again, renovator, developer, share trader, distressed house buyer, all those great things that we teach, the proactive strategies that can make a difference. The thing I know is this. Most accountability equals most money. I've written income or most outcome would be a better word since we used the first one. So most accountability is most income. So what does that mean? Of all the people you're accountable to, probably the most important person you're accountable to is yourself. So what I recommend you do is with regards to the strategy, the idea or the business that you run, there's only a handful of things that you need to be checking on a daily um, or maybe weekly basis that ensures your success. So for example, if I'm out in the marketplace looking for a deal, for a small development, a distressed property or a renovation deal, there's a certain amount of accountability that comes with that. So you know, is it I need to check all the auctions, uh, properties going to auction that week? Is it I need to send out a certain number of letters that week? Is it I need to knock on a certain number of doors that week? You have to decide what are what we call the dollar productive behaviors that produce the big results. And then you've got to make yourself accountable. So then, now, no more than five to seven maybe on a sheet. You need to tabulate this, um, you know, Monday to Friday or Saturday if you work that as well, and put these seven things down. 
and you need to fill them in every single day. How many phone calls did you make if that's one of them? How many doors did you knock on? How many auctions did you go to? And over time, you will see this bears true. You see many people full of our testosterone and pumped up, they're like, get into it. Yeah, I'm gonna buy distressed houses, I'm gonna find reno sites, I'm gonna all this sort of stuff. And they start off strong, but the moment they meet with a bit of um, obstacle or something happens or a distraction in life, as is what tends to happen, they start to lose focus and they lose accountability. And of course, they're the only one keeping themselves accountable and they start to maybe break integrity with their word. If you wanna be one of the winners, if you wanna be one of the uh, top 20%, you know the 80-20 rule? Well, there's the 80-20 rule of the top 20% as well, the top 4% and the other 96%. If you wanna be in that category of successful people in whatever field you do, you wanna get these two words. The first one is outcomes. What small outcomes do I want here that will lead to the bigger outcomes? And more importantly, the accountability. What accountability must I have in my schedule, my plan, my daily or weekly plan to deliver the result I want? Here's the thing. If you can't measure it, you can't manage it. This is Stuart to your success.